traffic is backing up on Euclid Street Friday night. Traffic officers are holding a sobriety and driver's license checkpoint in the southbound lanes near Stanford Avenue. We pick our checkpoint locations based on areas where there is a high incident of DUI-related traffic crashes as well as a DUI arrest. Police are looking for any objective signs of intoxication, odor of alcohol in a driver's breath, slurred speech, or the inability to answer simple questions. If any of those are found, or if a driver doesn't have a license, the vehicle is held for a secondary screening. One thing we'll do is we'll check their eyes. Um, we'll check for tracking in their eyes. A one-leg stand, uh, which uh, can test their ability to balance on one leg. A walk and turn test, and a finger to nose exam. Police officers say sobriety checkpoints are helpful in keeping drunks off the road. But alcohol isn't the only thing that impairs drivers. The subject came through the uh, DUI checkpoint. Uh, the officers on the line uh, detected a strong odor of uh, marijuana coming from him. He was sent into the secondary inspection. Where, uh, Officer I Charles Starnes, a drug area. recognition expert, so. spotted something amiss with this driver. Another sign is uh, some greenish coating on a tongue um, and just his balance test as well. Police say impaired drivers can expect license suspensions, even jail time, not to mention up to $10,000 in expenses. The State Office of Traffic Safety pays for the checkpoints with grant awards based on need. Police say DUI collisions claimed six lives in Garden Grove last year. This includes 191 wrecks resulting in 940 injuries. Some residents didn't mind waiting at the checkpoint. This time it's okay because no job and no hurry. <laughs> We're coming from Disneyland anyway. It's just going to make the city a safer place for, for everyone, you know. It's just it's a safe thing, good thing to have. It's a lot of hassle, you know, for, uh, I mean, for people, you know, look at all this traffic jam. Jose Forrest isn't convinced the wait is worth it, but state officials credit sobriety checkpoints with reducing DUI-related deaths in California. This is Lisa Lee reporting.